Hey guys, it's Conf Calibus Studios here. We have some absolutely huge news coming out of Six Flags Grid Adventure today. This morning, they shared a video to all of their social media platforms showing that the first segments of track have officially arrived for their new for 2024 roller coaster, Flash Vertical Velocity. This marks a really impressive milestone in the construction of this attraction. We've seen the footers going in, and now that there are parts on site, they can really get to work on installing this coaster. We don't know if any support pieces have been delivered to the park in addition to the track segments, but we are shown multiple different track segments. The one they showcase the most is one that definitely looks like it's a part of the zero G roll. You can tell by the way it's heart lining is set up that it's probably for the zero G roll because there's no other elements on the ride that would look like that. In the background, we can also see a couple other track segments. It looks like one that's relatively straight, looks like a part of a valley for one of the elements. Another element that looks like a bit of a turn. So there's quite a few different elements here that we have to look at, which is really great to see. We know from the shipment that we saw a little while ago that was delivered to the park that there are around 37 containers for this delivery of track pieces or support pieces for Flash. We can see that that one piece there pretty much took up an entire container, so we're not sure of exactly how many parts exactly have been delivered to the park at this time. I'd imagine there probably will be another shipment, and we're gonna keep track of that with the website we used the last time to find the shipment. So it seems like it takes around two weeks for the shipment to get there, to the park at least, from when it is shipped in, so it's good to know, and I'm really excited to see more progress with Flash Vertical Velocity. We're gonna obviously see a lot going on come opening day, and in addition to Flash, I did want to touch on something else that we can see here from Force Concrete on Instagram. They shared a few images of the Dream Street walkway, the progress, and there's been an immense amount of progress made. It's really cool to see. So for starters, we can see that on the left and right, there's a large section of concrete. And this concrete has some new light posts in as well as room for planters, which is great to see. So that area is going to look really nice and fresh. And in the center there, you can see another layer of concrete that's been poured, and it's not quite as high as the rest of the concrete. That's because that is where the bricks are going to be laid. You can see here on the far end of the Dream Street pathway, there's a lot of room for bricks. So get your orders in while you can, because I'm sure they will run out eventually of spaces for bricks. But this shows you another look at those planters I was talking about with the new light posts. You can also see that those poles that used to hold the banners are still up as well. And it looks like they're pouring more concrete in this image here. So I'd imagine that bricks will probably be going in once all this concrete cures. So it shouldn't take too long for us to see bricks down. As for whether or not this pathway will be ready come opening day, which is now just two weeks away, I'm not too sure about that. We're really just going to have to wait and see there. But this is really exciting to see. And like I said, these images all come from at Force Concrete on Instagram. So go give them a follow if you haven't already. They are doing great work on this pathway right here. It looks fantastic, and I can't wait to see everything new at the park once we get there for March 16th. In addition to that, we have some more news about the opening day of Great Adventure and a couple other things relating to the park. We can see here in this email the park sent out that you get double rides on opening weekend. It says, become a pass holder and you'll get monthly bonuses including double ride days on opening weekend March 16th and 17th. Great Adventure is hosting double ride days for pass holders where you enjoy back-to-back -back thrills on select rides. So it seems like you'll go to the Six Flags Universe, which is at the front of the park, grab your wristband, and this will enable you to not have to get out of your seat and be able to ride twice on certain attractions. They haven't revealed what those attractions are quite yet, but that is really cool to see. I would imagine it probably does apply to legacy members, but we'll have to wait and see for more info to come out about that. And additionally, right below that, you can see that Safari Off-Road Adventure opens March 30th. So I'm really curious to see how they're going to go about this, if they're just going to reuse the old station that was operational from 2013 to 2019. That's where you used to board Safari Off-Road Adventure. I'd imagine that's probably the way it's going to work. Obviously, it is no longer a drive through meaning you have to access this through the park in Frontier Adventures. So we're definitely going to be sure to go check that out once it reopens. Today we got another bit of news that I do want to touch on a little bit more, which is Skyrush. It is receiving new restraints over at Hershey Park, which is a really great change. I know a lot of people are not a big fan of the restraints on that attraction. So this corrects that issue big time. It has the same restraints as rides like Pantheon and Velocicoaster, two of my favorite restraints on any coaster out there. So this is a great change. In addition to that, the station is going to be repainted. It's going to have some more decorations. There's going to be some lighting, a new soundtrack. So lots of great things coming to Skyrush and, of course, its brand new logo. So I'm really excited for that. That will be ready for their opening day on March 29th. So not only is Great Adventure and Dorna getting a lot, 
Hershey's also getting their new Sky Rush, essentially. It might as well be a new ride with these restraints because it's really going to improve the riding experience. But if you guys enjoyed this quick little video going over Flash, the Dream Street Walkway, and a little bit of Sky Rush, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more roller coaster content coming soon to Hollywood Studios. Goodbye, guys.